today let's start with the topic arrays arrays is an important lesson uh, as far as uh, practicals and theoretical exam both are concerned uh, so one needs to understand uh, the concept of arrays clearly right so now today i will start with uh, the one dimensional arrays right and let's start with searching the searching operation of the arrays right now in searching operation we have got two uh, types of search one is called the linear search and the other one is called the binary search so the first one is a linear search and the other one is the binary search right so i'll start with linear search first and then we'll go on to binary search so let's see how linear search works now basically in linear search we have to give the item that we have to search for right and whatever item is given by us for searching that is searched in each and every element of the array till it is found right if it is found then it will be displayed if it's not found then appropriate message will be shown to you right so it's a simple search wherein uh, whatever element is given by the user is compared with all the elements of the array right okay now i'll write down the program for linear search hash include iostream.h hash include on your dot h int main right now here i take an array and uh, i'll give a size to that array right okay and then i take one variable item n and index like this right okay uh, now first of all we ask the user see out enter the size of the array this is i have put the size there as 10 but now i am asking the user to enter the size it basically means that the maximum size of the array is 10 right so it's not necessary that the user has to give the size as 10 the size can be 2 3 5 anything like that right in this case i have taken the array size as 10 supposing i had taken the array size as 100 so that means the maximum size of the array is 100 now the user can enter the size of the array as just 10 because he wants to input only 10 elements okay so whatever number of elements you actually want to input that will go into the size of the array that i take as n okay then after that first of all i'll have to enter the array elements so here input the elements of the array right so here we'll have a for loop for int i is equal to 0 i less than n it will be now it won't be i less than size remember it will be i less than n i less than it won't be i less than 10 i mean it will be i less than n because n is now the size of the array right okay then i plus plus now inside this you ask the user to input the elements of the array so i just write it like this c in array i fine you can put a c out statement also there for prompting the user 
to input the value after that now I have to ask the user enter the item that you want to search for right so now the user will enter it in item that's what he has to search right now I forgot to give the um, uh, prototype of this function so before this main function here let's write the prototype of the linear search function the linear search function we call it as l search you can give any name you want and it returns the integer value and inside this you pass three things one is the integer array right next one is the size of the array and third one is the item right so size and item both are integers and I have an integer array so I am passing one integer array and two integers inside this function right see in item uh, here I come back to this see out enter the item that you want to search for see in item after this the function is called index is equal to l search within bracket array comma n comma item I put it like this right now I'll go to the l search function fine now let's write that int l search right here you have int ar uh, let's put it like this int size and int item like this <coughs> okay now we have the item that we want to search for like I'll, I'll put down an array here I have an array here right let's say the size of the array is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 right okay and I have some values inside this let's say 23 67 42 56 right 12 2 and 89 okay now um, and I'll write here the item that we are searching is let's say 56 right okay now I'm coming back to this function I'll search function here now what will you do in this it's a normal array in which I have to search so I'll put a for loop first for int i is equal to 0 or int j is equal to 0 right j less than the size of the array and j plus plus okay now if array i is equal to equal to item that's what we have to do we have to see if the array element the first time it will be array 0 so what is array 0 array 0 is 23 right 23 is not equal to 56 23 not equal to 56 right so it will not come into this if condition like this it will go on till it reaches 56 right when 56 becomes equal to 56 in that case the item is found and we say return i this function is returning an integer this function is returning an integer so i am returning i now what is i sorry return j i'll write not i return j j is the position of that particular element so here when i say return j this is 0 1 2 3 it will return 3 understood okay now here i'll close the for loop right this for loop will go on till I reach the end of the array because it is j less than size right okay 
Now supposing, uh, supposing someone is searching for the number uh, 57, right? 57 is searched for. Now in this array, 57 is not there. So it will never find 57 in the array. So that means, what does that mean? That means the whole for loop will be executed. It will start from 0. It will go on till this place. That is 4, 5, 6. Okay. It will go on till the last element. But the condition if array i is equal to equal to item will never become true. Correct. So it will come out of the for loop. It will never it will never come to this statement return j. If it comes to this statement return j, then the control will be returned back to the main method. When I say here, the control returns back to the main method. When the control returns back to the main method, the statements which are coming after this will not get executed. Right? So now, now what I am trying to say is, if you are searching for a number which is not there in the array, right it will never enter this condition because this condition will never become true so it will come out of the loop and once i come out of the loop i say return minus one and then i close this function so what does this mean this means basically if the element if the what you have to remember here is if the element is found then its position is returned then its position is returned to the main method right if the element is not found then minus 1 is returned to the main method this you should remember right this is what we are doing inside this uh, method. Now, when I say return j or return minus 1, the control goes back to the main method. And in the main method, this is the place where I had called this function. And index is the variable where the return value will be caught. Okay. So, from there, if I am returning j or I am returning minus 1, Whatever value I am returning, that value comes into index. Fine. Now let's check what value has come into index. So how will we do that? I will write if index is equal to equal to minus 1. What does that mean? If index is equal to equal to minus 1, I had said if the element is not found, then minus 1 is returned. Right. So, if minus 1 is returned to this, that means the element is not found. So, here I put sorry item not found okay we can write this uh, there's no need for this okay i'll put this right else if there is only one statement inside the if condition there's no need for the curly brackets but it's always a good practice to put that so that uh, when you read the program, we, it's clear like what you are trying to do. What is inside that if statement, right? Else, now the uh, element has been found and the position of the element has been returned here. So, index actually contains 3. In our case, we were searching for 56, right? So, when, when we were searching for 56, 56 is there here, right? So, 3 was returned, fine. So now, what will we do? Here I have to give a cout statement. Cout. Item has been found. I will put it like this. Uh, item has been found in index. Index. Uh, and here you can write index. Right. Uh, then, give an index statement. I will give it here. This will print item has been found in index 3, right? And then I write index 3 and position 
position is what? Position is index plus 1. For a layman, the position is 4. Index, the array indexing starts from 0. So, for us, the index is 3. Right? Otherwise, a person who looks at this array, where is 56? 56 is not in third position. 56 is in fourth position. Okay? So, I have put it in two ways here. Item has been found in index 3 and position 4. Okay? That's it. And we can give a get ch here. And then return. This is, I have written int main, the return 0. Right? This is all you have in your linear search, right? So, linear search is one of the basic uh, search in an array, which in which you are doing, uh, I mean, in which you are just comparing each and every element of your array with whatever item is being searched for, right? The only thing that you have to remember here is, uh, this coding here, uh, if array i is equal to equal to item return j or return minus 1 and the return type of the int uh, l search function is int and you need to catch this int here as index. Understood? So, with that, I um, will finish the topic on linear search. Uh, we will do binary search in our next session.